Lots of Tesla stock news today. Let's go through everything. Tesla stock so far is up over 10%. This is because there's a rumor that Tesla might increase prices next month. But also, this is largely because Morgan Stanley Saturn Jonas has increased his Tesla stock price target by 60% to $400 per share, up from $250. And now, it is Morgan Stanley's top pick. They say, we believe that Dojo can add up to... $500 billion to Tesla's enterprise value expressed through a faster adoption rate in mobility, meaning robot taxis, and network services. I made this video on June 25th, in which I explained that Dojo is a big deal for Tesla. In fact, it made some people upset because I said, the next big thing is starting for Tesla now. This was back in June, which was about two days after Morgan Stanley downgraded Tesla stock. Do you remember all of this? Yeah, they downgraded Tesla stock. I was getting more excited about Tesla stock and they downgraded it. And now suddenly, more than two months later, they are getting excited about Dojo 2. And this Saturday, I published this video titled most bullish thing about tesla fsd i think i have ever read which also talked about tesla's dojo basically and remember when i said this on september 1st to those who sold today your long-term sacrifice is appreciated i'll be buying on monday and i did actually i bought on tuesday because monday uh, was a statutory holiday i really think it's pretty simple to figure out what tesla stock is going to do in the long term the tricky part is figuring out when will other people actually also figure it out. Because I was talking about this back in June and many times in July and August and even this month and only now did Morgan Stanley actually catch up. I still can't believe I was able to buy Tesla stock at incredibly low prices, close to $100. And since then, Tesla stock has almost 3 x already. Sawyer says, I've read over 200 Tesla reports from Adam Jonas over the years. This new 40-page report from him and his contributors, which mainly focused on Dojo, is probably the most bullish I've seen them talk. The potential and implications with Tesla's Dojo system are massive. Interestingly, James said that this is more bullish than the Jonas report from Morgan Stanley, which just made Tesla stock rocket. Uh, there are these rumors here that Tesla may increase the price of the Model Y in China, and also maybe that Tesla will just cancel the rear wheel drive version altogether in China. He explains here that if they plan to cancel the rear wheel drive version of the Model Y, which is almost 100% of domestic Y sales and a significant percentage of global sales, over 25% off the top of my head, that would cause average selling prices to moon. It would be bullish assuming that Tesla would still be able to sell the exact same amount of Model Ys as before. If Tesla did make that announcement later, I'm not sure if it would be immediately bullish because maybe some will think Tesla will sell less cars but if Tesla does not really lose any volume but sells these cars at higher prices on average then yeah that would be bullish after everyone figures out what the earnings actually are. If Tesla does that it means there's a demand issue. Too much demand is what it would mean to me. In the long term I expect Tesla to keep making its vehicles cheaper so in the long term I wouldn't expect that Tesla would be able to actually sustain that but it would be a clear indication of much higher demand I think. Which should make Tesla stock go up even in the short term then. Everyone's talking about the Morgan Stanley report today. James says, here's the thing that perplexes me about the Jonas report. If he truly believes in Dojo, FSD, etc., why only $400 price target? It's either you believe all this stuff and Tesla is worth 10x this or you don't. $400 chosen because of what? Close to previous all-time high? Partially, yes, because you have to sell to institutional investors and you can't say anything that's too outrageous, anything that's too crazy. You have to make yourself look somewhat credible and... Most importantly, you have to generate these brokerage commissions because you want people to trade. You want people to sell and buy, sell and buy instead of just holding and not doing anything. That's how a lot of these analysts make money, by the way. They make you trade more often. They generate brokerage commissions. Gary responds to James here. Adam has always included incremental value for Robotaxi in his Tesla price target. His price target has to be based on earnings or cash flows or the Morgan Stanley Research Committee wouldn't approve it and his institutional clients would reject it for the first time he included licensing fees from third parties in his 
uh, model basically, and he increases RoboTaxi estimates as well. His price target has to be supported by earnings or cash flow estimates, which are still way below mine. And yet, Morgan Stanley has a higher Tesla stock price target. Now, what do you think Gary perhaps is going to do next? Do you think Gary Black is not going to increase his Tesla stock price target? I'm not saying tomorrow or, or this week or maybe even not next week, but can you see it coming? I mean, Gary is not including anything basically of significance in his valuation model in terms of FSD and RoboTaxi and certainly not Dojo. I have my own valuation model and I still think in the long term that Morgan Stanley is way too conservative. Maybe I should share that model. And look at what Morgan Stanley says here. We believe Tesla is both an automobile company and a technology company. And the biggest value Tesla gets is software and service revenue. We think Tesla Supercomputer Dojo and FSD version 12 next AI day will be worth it. I already said full stop dropping version 12 was a big deal and Morgan Stanley is only now catching up. Look at the wording from Morgan Stanley here. Tesla cars are sensor encrusted robots. I really think about 10 years from now, roughly, Morgan Stanley is going to come out with another really bullish report about Tesla and it will talk about Tesla's Optimus robot. Because once Tesla solves full cell driving and that's all taken care of and you still have all of this compute power and you know how to navigate the real world, don't you think that it will be really super difficult for Tesla to make the Optimus robot work? It's not going to be easy, but the Tesla bot really is the natural evolution that follows Tesla's full cell driving. Tesla has built a custom AI chip which can operate more efficiently than any chip on the market and, and this is the important part, at a fraction of the cost. Better but cheaper. That is a big deal. The more Morgan Stanley looked at Dojo, the more they realized the potential for underappreciated value in the stock and believes Tesla can reasonably test its all-time high of $400 over the next 12 months. I need to make a confession here. I hope it doesn't happen. <laughs> because I'm buying more Tesla stock, I want to keep buying more at these cheap prices. But I'll be really happy for all of you if it does happen, because I know many of you don't want Tesla stock to go down, because uh, some of you have finished accumulating Tesla stock. Many of you are closer to retirement, for example. But I am never retiring, and I am buying as much Tesla stock as I possibly can. This is a bit crazy. Kramer says a massive shutdown of the US Big 3 Auto is a nothing burger. Then they say Morgan Stanley is corrupt, tying this upgrade to their leveraged debt on the x slash twitter deal versus getting into the details of what the report is saying no due diligence with tesla themselves really reprehensible serving the ad by masters at 4gm and stellantis and jeff has the receipts as well these companies indeed do spend a lot of money with cnbc do you think it's possible that this has something to do with what kramer is saying about that strike not being a big deal and Morgan Stanley upgrade, yeah, also not a big deal. He's been fighting this stock, so suddenly no. He doesn't have to fight anymore. You know why? Because he's been fighting it as a car company. Oh, but as a tech company. There's a lot of showmanship happening here and a lot of finger pointing. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's no point here. Uh, Morgan Stanley, after all, they say that themselves. Morgan Stanley does and seeks to do business with companies covered in Morgan Stanley research. As a result, investors should be aware that the firm may have a conflict of interest that could affect the objectivity of Morgan Stanley research. And did Morgan Stanley lend Elon Musk a substantial amount of money to buy Twitter? Yes, they did. And despite that, did Morgan Stanley downgrade Tesla stock in June? Yes, they did. Here's Barron's view of Morgan Stanley's Tesla upgrade. Robotaxi could be a $10 trillion total addressable market. I can't believe we are now finally starting to hear from the mainstream, basically, that, yeah, <laughs> Robotaxi's uh, Tesla, yeah, it's happening. And we are hearing this from people that don't work at ARK Invest and don't report Tesla news every day like I do. This cements 
the view that Tesla should be valued as a tech company and not a car company. The $400 Tesla stock price target from Adam Jones is now the highest Tesla stock price target on all of Wall Street. Do you think, this is just a hypothetical uh, theory, that perhaps um, many other Wall Street analysts will soon follow, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not even next week, but, you know, they will wait a few weeks, maybe some of them, a few months, maybe some of them, a few quarters, maybe some of them even a few years if they are, you know, a little bit behind. And one by one, they will start saying, yeah, dojo, robotaxis, uh, custom chips in Tesla vehicles and all this other stuff. It's time to upgrade our Tesla stock price targets too. And <laughs> you just wait when they also figure out Tesla energy, the Cybertruck that Tesla will deliver more than 10 million vehicles in 2030. And he just watch what that does to their Tesla stock price targets. Gary commented on this rumor. This would be very bullish for Tesla if China Model Y prices increased. Given a small current price gap between Model 3 and Model Y. Also, timing of the comment is interesting. Uh, just three weeks before the quarter ends. I don't think that comment is particularly surprising because we saw the Model Y wait times increase in China. I reported about that about a week ago. To me, that sounded bullish and I thought that that would freak out a lot of the Tesla bears and now I think they are freaking out. I would like to reiterate that in the long term I do expect a lot of price cuts still in the future from Tesla but temporarily this would just prove that there is a lot of demand. And I personally like seeing high demand. I like long wait lists because maybe that doesn't really create the best customer experience but it does create a great investing experience. Earlier I said that Tesla is likely to benefit from this if uh, UAW goes on strike against Detroit's big three with the deadline being on Friday actually and Gary Black agrees with that statement as well. However, while this may be beneficial in the relatively near term, in the long term it may not be the best thing because this could encourage some Tesla employees to also unionize and Generally, for Tesla, I would say a union would be terrible. It uh, it wouldn't be all that, that, that bad, but would it hurt Tesla's competitiveness? Yeah, it definitely would. It wouldn't be a deal breaker or anything like that, but it would just slow down Tesla at least by a little bit in the US. Another thing that a union does, it generally then attracts more... Not exactly the most hardworking people to your company. It encourages people to not try as hard. So if I am a really hard worker and I want to get paid as much as possible, I don't want a union because I don't want to be paid ever for being lazy. I want to be paid for being productive. And right now Tesla easily attracts the best people. But if Tesla has a union, uh, I'm not sure if the very, very, very best people would still want to join Tesla as much as they did before. Many still would, but it would be more of a, ah, oh, there's a union now, I have to pay my union dues too? What, what is this? I liked this. A top Volkswagen executive had been dispatched to China to review the competitive landscape and his assessment was grim. Tesla has continued to expand and has laid claim to leadership in automotive innovation, undermining the German giant's cash cow, Audi. So indeed, competition is coming. Uh, I used to say for the second place, but the second place is going to be captured by BYD. So competition is definitely still absolutely coming for the third place. One more quick comment about this uh, design from Tesla, potentially a robotaxi design. Uh, I think eventually it does make sense to have two seats, but in the meantime, remember that Tesla will have so many Model 3s and Model Ys in the fleet that you don't really need to start with a four-seater car. Eventually, they will have a bigger robotaxi as well, I think, but it makes sense I think to me to have the highest number of robotaxi at least in the beginning to be two-seater vehicles and obviously the consumer vehicle that would be the next generation vehicle I think will have four seats also this could be the next generation of the next generation almost all Chinese EV makers have Tesla's minimalistic design language incorporated into their own EVs and Huawei's S7 
is no exception. I think that's largely the feature, but there will still be many people that will want, oh, you know, I want more uh, buttons and everything, but I think with time that's going to change eventually. And like Elon Musk just said, there will be no side or rear view mirrors in the future. I am actually starting to hear about people that don't look at their side mirrors, they just look at the Tesla screen, you have that FSD visualization, and for example, you want to change lanes, and you can see that there's a vehicle right here, so you better be careful, uh, and uh, yeah, some people are starting to just rely on this, now I'm not sure if I would recommend that, uh, definitely double check your mirrors for now at least, but the system is becoming incredibly good at seeing cars in your blind spot. Alex made a pretty good point about Tesla's FSD. The big difference between Chad GPT and Tesla's FSD version 12 is that the former used all the documents they could get their hands on to feed the AI, while Tesla only uses videos of good drivers. And believe me, Tesla knows exactly who is a good driver. That's a decisive difference with big implications for FSD. How do you know who is a good driver? Well, you just look at their safety score. Very simple. That's one good reason for Tesla to have Tesla insurance, at least while it is building uh, Tesla FSD. Tesla Model 3 Highland owner's manual confirms the auto shift out of park feature. This function allows the new Model 3 to use inputs from its various sensors to select drive or reverse automatically. Now, my friend personally does not like this feature on his Model X because while it works most of the time, the few times that it doesn't, you have to be careful because you might think you're going forward, but you're going to go backwards or vice versa. Eventually, I think that is going to be the feature. But for now, I think Tesla is going this direction a little bit too early, just like it did with the ultrasonic sensors. In the end, it will be the right decision, but in the meantime, it's going to frustrate some customers. For now, I would still prefer having stocks, at least for shifting gears. This is good. Tesla Gigapress supplier just posted a photo of what looks to be the 9,000 ton Cybertruck Gigapress. Someone says, having stood next to the 6,000 ton Gigapresses at Giga Texas, I can tell you that is way bigger. I mean, it is enormous. One more interesting thing from the Morgan Stanley report is uh, they said that the next AI day perhaps will be in early 2024. Maybe they have some uh, sort of insider information. I'm not really sure. But by then, I imagine Tesla will have a pretty good dojo update. Tom says that Morgan Stanley is still way off at least by three times, but it's a major upgrade over the rest of Wall Street. Elon Musk just reiterated that almost all of Tesla's value long term will be from AI and robots both vehicle and humanoid. It's crazy to think that Tesla is just getting started, but that's just the fact that I believe is true. But it will take some time for Wall Street and everyone else to figure that out. When Google's Alpha Zero was training for chess, they included the rules of the game at the beginning and the neural network figured out everything else. I wonder if Tesla's full cell driving version 12 includes the definition of traffic signs, traffic lights, lane lines, etc. For example, does version 12 know what double yellow lines mean? Is that predefined? To me, it looks like Tesla removed all the definitions together with instructions and they will waste time before they realize they need to add the definitions back and remove only instructions. But there is a good comment here. Uh, there's this version that was trained without the rules and became superior and more general versus Alpha Zero. Morgan Stanley of the $150 increase in Tesla price target only assigns $7 of the increase to an increase in vehicle sales. If Robotax is more likely and Doja provides an incredible flywheel, why would the core business barely budge for 2030 cars sold? And there's a pretty good solution actually to uh, this issue. All you need to do for example, is to go to Google and search for what to do when thinking hurts. One of the results fairly high is tips for coping with urges to self-harm right now. I think um, all of the Tesla bears should really read that. I haven't read it, but I think it would be valuable for them. And YouTube says you should watch this video next, but if you haven't finished watching this Elon Musk interview, watch this one first. My name is Matt Posius. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.